If you're not Catholic, why should it matter that the Pope resign? Very good question. Uh, it matters because the Pope is the head of the Roman Catholic Church, one of the world's biggest religions, centered right in Europe, which is a key area not only in news today, but in prophecy tomorrow. It is important because the impact that the Pope has, it's not just a Catholic thing, it's really a prophetic thing when you get right down to it, isn't it? It is. People were, were really surprised this morning when uh, Pope Benedict XVI announced that he was going to be resigning at the end of this month. Uh, pope Benedict was German when he became the, uh, the Pope. He was Cardinal Joseph Ratzinger uh, eight years ago, he became Pope Benedict. He chose this name and many speculated even then that it was connected with Europe because the last Pope Benedict was the World War I Pope who tried to keep Europe from tearing itself apart uh, at that particular time. Uh, one of the books that uh, Joseph Ratzinger wrote uh, was called Europe Today and Tomorrow. And of course, the church has always had a very strong interest in what takes place in Europe politically down through the ages. Bible prophecy shows that there is coming yet another combination of church and state from that area. Revelation 13 is what shows that. And so that particular combination, understanding historically where, it's, where it has come from and where it will be in the future is why these decisions of the the deaths of a pope, the election of a pope, and now the resignation of, a, of an aged pope matter, make a difference, and are important for all of us to understand. So it's going to affect nations around the world, not only Europe alone, it's also going to affect religion and the impact of the combination of those things. That's where it gets really interesting. So get to know your Bible, check out Revelation 13, find out the connection between religion and government and why this really is truly important. It is a very interesting development that has taken place. We'll probably be talking more about this in future BT Dailies. That's BT Daily today. Join us next time.